Welcome back, right? Let's play Vanoa Heroes in Tsutsuno Star Metal. We got a nice little level up. Increase our attacks up by whole 40. I'm gonna increase that by decent amount. Let's go back to. Increasing our agility, though, so we don't have to worry about that as much as we did. Now, though, what was that new weapon we got? What's it called? Is this one? Which one is it? It's that one. So kind of a high cap on this one, but let's see what it's like. This is the baza um, bazooka, I believe think it is. Yeah, this one's called the something bazooka. I don't know what those first three characters say, but the last four say, well, if you count the dash as a character, but the last one say bazooka. <laughs> I know that much. I like being able to read things phonetically in Japanese. It's fun. At least in katakana. I don't really know hiragana for, for crap. And this game is entirely Y, actually. Oh, beautiful. So splash damage for one. Doesn't really do more damage in any capacity, but the splash damage is cool. And also, I believe, I'm quite sure that I normally anything explosive would pierce armor. So I believe if I find a Mu, an armored well, Mu with a shield, so it's a low range, it's kind of sucky. And rate of fire. But if I find a move with a shield, I believe I can just hit that move from anywhere and the shield won't actually protect it at all. Which makes dealing with it a lot easier as well. So some people seem rather fond of these particular weapons. Okay, see, I can just ignore the shield, which is really nice. Nothing really makes a difference though, because the area of fire so is low anyways. Some people do seem to like these heavy weapons with guns. It's not my thing. So I don't really intend to keep using Bazooka. But... I figured it would be nice to show off. I have to fix my stats after this too. Go away. Go away. There we go. Now then, if we could... Oh, get... <laughs> well, I was thinking if we... More long as if we could get out of this room and fix things up. But I suppose having more fun explosions is also just fine. Yeah, I don't think it just kills me off this thing as it's low range, too. But... Don't hit multiple enemies at once is cool, but not really enough. I mean, you don't find enemies clustered together often enough to really justify that, I don't think. It has its situational uses, so it's not what I want. That looks like quite happy with it, though, I admit. That's what I had before. I'm just trying to figure out what this thing's called. It's something machine gun. I just know the handguns are called machine guns for some reason. And they do, have, they do have rather high rate of fire, I suppose. And that's just our stats for now. What were my stats before with the other one? 75. Well, oh, same thing, actually. Alright, cool. Actually, exactly the same stats. The thing is, now I have a higher rate of fire. So I can actually... You usually kill things more quickly. So the really nice thing about having a higher rate of fire is that you effectively get more crits. Your crit rate is the same, of course, but you get more crits than you did otherwise. I don't really know why I went backwards there, by the way. I guess I just really wanted to get that last bit of HP back, so I decided to go get an egg. I was just wanted to see how, how quickly I can kill these things. It's a lot very in any capacity, but... Why they have both have to be in there? Because I'm making it happen. It's my fault. But definitely a lot better than it was before. Boom. Because I'm crits. Next to the crits just stack up when you have more hits in general. So I put it. Okay. Hello. Yeah, some nice crits are appreciated anyhow. 
Uh, I'll probably... I haven't encountered any glibs or anything just yet in this level, actually, so for now it feels like I'm actually a safe bet to, to have my agility next. So my special attack, which I figured would be the next time I'm like, up instead of agility, but whatever. Agility is a great thing to have. Plus I'll have the... Well, like everything else, I'll have the gauge boost for it, too. Like a jerk. I'm hurt by a move is not something to be proud of. No way. I was getting hurt by one of those things. Uh -huh. Of course, the only reason that I didn't actually get hurt though is because it missed me, not because I managed to dodge it successfully. Oh well. Uh, stop it! Thank you. You also deal with these things a lot more easily when you have machine guns than when you have. Well, really anything else. Um, hi guys. I don't know if I'm able to deal with these things or not. Maybe I can. As long as I land something on them, my god. What are you doing, dude? Stop it! Stop that! Okay. So glibs encountered, except it doesn't really matter that my special size and size come because I kill these things anyways. If I find giant glibs, that could be another matter. It's not like it gave me much of anything anyhow. Thank you. Well, kind of. I mean, I particularly appreciate getting next to nothing from the glibs, but not glibs. I meant. These clubs apparently hurt me talking trash and attacked me immediately. Just appreciate it, of course. Ah, of course, that's the one I actually trust have a back gun to. Very foolish of me. Never trust. So many suzos. Go away. Now if I could actually find the time to go back to the other side of those spikes, because I'm pretty sure I missed something off to the right there. I was back over there. I would like to do that. That was actually just a really long dead end, okay. Well, I guess I'll have to go that way then. Good route. This is a good route to take though, just for the sake of... Oh dear. Great. Just for the sake of being all the experience. Speaking of experience. Ah, man. I think I was gonna get healed rather soon. Oh, speaking of which. Perfect. Okay, new outfit. So, what's that one? Ah, something. Here's the ha something. Oh, okay. Well, that's a little bit further. A little bit beyond me right now. It's also, way more towards defense than other stuff, which displeases me, but. So it's doing any harm actively. Still waiting that level up. Come on. Go! I don't really know if it's me being patient or impatient while I just keep shooting at them like that. I mean, I'm just sitting there waiting for them to die. But at the same time, I'm putting in a lot of effort at once. The you know, weight suggests I'm not really wanting to wait. I don't really know what to make of that. I know it's not the quickest way either. So many moves. Why all the moves? I can be having these things. I know these things are annoying, but still, I can manage them. It doesn't take Lady Fair to get rid of them either. I have vegetable juice too, in case it comes down to that. I have our time with them. I was just kind of surprised I didn't get poisoned last time. I don't know if I don't th yeah I don't know if po what affects poison rates or anything like that rates of infecting status ailments. I don't know if it has something that relates to agility or if it's just later enemies have higher rates of infecting it. But I can guarantee you, I'm very very sure that enemies later in the game have much higher chances of inflicting 
status ailments than the earlier ones. If, whether that's because of their stats or because of some other matter that I'm unaware of, I'm not sure. Alright, you can go away. Who even are you? Go away! Stop it! There we go. Yeah, that, on these things. Okay, these things aren't... I'm not sure I want to see if these things are bad or not. They do a lot of damage really quickly. If they hit you. And you have to bait them out of the ground so you can attack them, but... I mean, if you do manage to avoid getting hit by them, they're not that bad. Is someone going to be able to kill this thing? I'm not sure. The answer is firmly no. Let's go around. Oh, come on, guys. You're kidding me. I'll be back. Show all of you. Oh, God. I kind of figured this would be right at the end of the room. Oh, crap. You're kidding me. I can not ask. I figured. From out there, when I saw that I had that door there that I feared that I would have to. No more stuff. Aw, oh, crap. Ah, I need to start getting rid of these things. And then, which one did I get this time? Well, attack plus a lot. Was cool, but probably get rid of some inferior versions of stuff like the Jelly Plus Five. That's why it's neat. Like it's kind of draining the day that I'd start needing to get rid of this stuff, but I'll probably start selling these things on these things too. Okay, but anyhow, I increase the special stat, and that should make me capable. I wanted to increase my agility, but oh well, that should make me capable of dealing with these things now. I do not want to miss out on that experience. I do want to go back and kill those things. I'd also like to just kind of see what I can manage now. How much of a difference that made. Now thankfully these things usually have rather low agility as well, so if you have decent agility you can get tons of crits on them and get by pretty easily. Alright, so hopefully I should be able at least to damage these ones. Oh! That was interesting. I was aimed in a very convenient direction. It's supposed to be in random directions. True sure, randomness never really feels random to us, it seems like. It seems like it's kind of like weighted towards enemies sometimes. But then again, when I try to shoot like a single small enemy with it, then a lot of the time it doesn't hit at all, so I'm not really sure. It's just that random things really don't look as random as we expect them to. Not sure. But with this, our newfound capability of actually using our special attack is nice. I do appreciate being able to use a special attack that works, even though I like it less than Kanoa's by a decent margin. That will have to be it for this episode. Let's play Got Not Kazuno Kanoa, <laughs> for better or worse. Kura no Ehelos Insetsu no Stalamiru. Yeah, we're out of time. But, next time we, I don't know, hopefully increase our stats more. <laughs> I like to have agility that doesn't suck. Well, I'm not going to see what my stat boost is going to be just yet. I can probably do some math to that at least estimate it, but we'll just find out next time. Bye, guys.